All right, here's a quick video to explain number 19 from yesterday's homework assignment, page 477. Uh, the question says, determine the dimensions, which are what's the length and what's the width. Those are the dimensions for enclosing the maximum area of a rectangle if, okay, so we want to figure out what's the biggest rectangle we can have area-wise if the perimeter is held constant at 200 meters. Okay, so here's what you got to do. You got to think about this uh, in two different equations. First of all, a perimeter equation. So once you have the drawing here, uh, the perimeter would be 2L plus 2W. Okay, and then you have to consider an area equation. Area equals length times width. Now it's this area one that we want to be the biggest. So what we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to do a substitution into this first one and then another substitution into the area. So here we go. We know that uh, the perimeter, they tell us, is held constant at 200 meters. So we're going to put 200 in for P. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that equation there. I'm just going to erase that and work from here. And you're going to solve for either L or W. does not matter which. Uh, for right now, let's solve for L. So I'm going to subtract 2W so 200 minus 2w equals 2l, divide by 2, and l, when those cancel out, are equal to 2 goes into 200 100 times, and 2 goes into negative 2, negative 1 times. So we have 100 minus w equals l. So what you can do with that then is come over to that area function. That's all equal to L, so everything here is going to get substituted in place of L. So we have area equals 100 minus W times W. And what you'll notice here, what you should see fairly quickly when we distribute that W through, we have 100 W minus W squared. We now have a quadratic function, negative W squared plus 100 W. So as we get into this unit more, we'll talk more about, well, this term right here, the coefficient of the squared term, that's our a value, our lowercase a value, that's negative, so we know it's going to be an upside down parabola, and we want to find the maximum area, so we want to look for that highest point there, all right, what's that going to be, and the easiest way for you guys to do that would be to graph it in Desmos, and find that point right now. But let me just show you a quick way to do that uh, by hand. <clears throat> you can take your function, and something you may recall, I don't know if you remember it or not from Algebra 2, was you can find the vertex of a parabola, at least the x value, by doing negative b over 2a. Right? So in a general... Uh, quadratic function. It's ax squared plus bx plus c. That should should have come up the first lesson. You've seen that before. But if you take negative b over 2a, those are the coefficients. So in this case, that x value is going to be negative b, so negative 100, over 2 times ne uh, a, which is negative 1, gives you negative 100 over negative 2, which is x equals 50. So if you make, if we go back to our original rectangle, and we make W50, uh, I, yeah, so I should have been more specific. This X was actually W in our case here. All right. So if we make W50, and we think about um, what this would have to be, that means this side would have to be 50. Well, in order for this perimeter to be 200, that's 100 of it. This has to be... 50 and 50 as well. So the dimensions would be 50 meters by 50 meters. Okay. So that's how you do part A. Part B, the only difference there is they are, instead of giving you an, an exact 200 meters, they're giving it uh, to you just as P. So all of this uh, just has a P variable in it um, instead of the 200. So a little more algebra there. I'm not going to take time to go through it now. The main thing is that you understand part A.